scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The Bible calls part of the cadres of the demonic kingdom. There is a class of spirits called the rulers of darkness. That means their dominion is on the strength of the absence of light or an inaccurate understanding on how to apply that light you know misunderstanding and ignorance are the same thing in the realm of the spirit one who is a possessor of light but cannot apply it adequately and one who is barren of that light both of them are destined to have the same outcome so it's not enough to be possessors of light we must also be possessors of understanding the system in the kingdom by which we apply this truth you will be learning a lot this night and i trust that god will open our eyes in the name of jesus in the course of this very brief teaching tonight god is going to be opening our eyes and we're going to be seeing a lot of things as it concerns our lives our families our destinies but much more than the knowledge, God will hand to us the keys that will not only help us to rise above it, but help the people in our families to rise above it. Praise the Lord. If I look at the baby that Shalhoma is holding and I call that baby an adult, I can argue based on whatever scientific fact I can choose to even say she's not holding a baby whether I decide based on my perception to assume she's not holding a baby or not the truth remains the truth are you getting what I'm saying the Bible says for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth there are certain realities as far as our work with God and our work in the kingdom is concerned that if we do not pay attention to and sustain the grace to be able to bring those things under the feet of Jesus, we will live absolutely defeated lives. And one of it is what I'm going to be teaching you tonight. Dominion over curses. Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 very interesting scripture please give us that scripture lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 i want us to read it as loud and clear if you are a child of god ready one to read one more time stop what does it mean and they are not they are what that means they have left the scene something started with them and their presence departed from the scene but whatever that something is the bible says and we have done what the word born there is the word inherited our fathers have sinned and are not it was only fair that whatever trouble will go with them but the bible says we have borne their iniquity i hope you know the bible says all scripture was inspired of the holy ghost holy men wrote 
right as they were moved by the spirit the second scripture i want us to look at is proverbs 26 verse 2 and then we'll begin to establish a few things proverbs 26 verse 2 i want us to read one to read as the bird by wandering as the swallow by flying read please so the cause causeless <laughs> look, look at this. This, this i'm already laughing because i don't know how many of you went to school but i think that this was written in basic english so the cause causeless shall not come in other words if it comes there is a cause the condition for it not being there is that nothing caused it that means the presence of any kind of predicament is a sign that it was intentionally initiated the bible says there is a law and this is the law that the a cause causeless shall not come it didn't say shall not stand it will never even manifest in the first place so the fact that it was able to appear in the scene of your destiny regardless of what caused it this law was properly obeyed for it to find expression it says a cause causeless shall not stand it shall not come there are so many believers who do not understand the laws of the kingdom and the systems of God like we have been discussing here. This is part of accessing spiritual intelligence. And um, we confess so many things we do not understand in the body of Christ and we are largely victims of situations and circumstances. There are so many people who do not even believe that there is such a phenomenon in the dealings of men in the earth called a system where men can experience what the bible calls a cause the word sounds insulting the word sounds antichrist the word sounds degrading but it's interesting to know that the first person who used it in the bible was god The first person to reveal to us that there is a possibility that a man's life can be programmed to experience woes was not even Satan. It was God Almighty. Now think about this. God himself is using something. Are we believers? Ah, look at you looking at me as if you left your Bible one year ago. Is it not in your Bible? When man fell, the Bible says, and the Lord God had the voice. I mean, and they had the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day, correct? And he came and said, Adam, where art thou? And Adam said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? Then he said, the woman. This madam you have kept close to me, did this and that and that, and because of her, I got into trouble. Woman, what is this that you have done? She said, the serpent. And he turned to the serpent. And the Bible clearly, clearly tells us, number one, the serpent was cursed. That he would crawl on his belly and he shall feed upon the dust of the earth. Correct? Then God turned to the woman and made another pronouncement of pain in childbirth. Then God turned to the earth, innocent earth, and said cursed are you for the sake of the man tons and thistles shall begin to come out and in the sweat of thy brow that's the mystery of hardship god using that same statement the second experience was with a man called cain when cain killed his brother and then God called on Cain, where is your brother? I said, am I my brother's keeper? And God said that the blood of the brother crieth from the earth. And then he cursed Cain. Correct? 
and when he listed those causes a fugitive and a vagabond shall you be and Cain turned and even negotiated remember in one of our teachings we explained that and he said no 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 whoever sees me whoever sees me whether he has no business killing me or not something upon me will force him to want to kill me and God said all right I will put a mark without that mark anyone can kill you so it's not about who kills it's about what is making them want to kill you listen carefully please follow me tonight you are going to learn a lot a cause causeless shall not stand it's like saying every time you see water in this bottle it was intentionally put it cannot just appear write this down what is a cause ah looked around and suddenly realized that you've been so good to me your mercy is everlasting undenying overwhelmed who am I that you are Who am I that you hear my cry when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of? Yeah. Who am I? You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, not you. My hope and my joy, not you. My confidence. You. You're the source of my strength, are you? The strength of my life, are you? My hope and my joy, are you? My confidence, are you? That means the operation of a course cannot be studied intellectually. You must be able to study from the standpoint of the realm of the spirit. A course is a mystery. The second thing I want you to know about a course is that a course is a spiritual force. A course, listen carefully, is a spiritual force. A cause is a spiritual force. Are we together? Number three, a cause has magnetic characteristics. Like you talk in magnetism, an attracting power. It can attract certain things to its victim. I'm taking out time to help you understand this. Let's take it very carefully tonight. A cause is a mystery. A cause is a spiritual force. Then a cause is magnetic. It has an attracting power. Number four. A cause is always negative in its manifestation. A cause is always negative. In its manifestation there's no such thing as positive cause no what is a cause a cause is an invocation a cause is an invocation comma a programming a cause is an invocation 
a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities to the life of its victim a cause is a what an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities pay attention and listen carefully in the life of its victim it always has negative effects on the life of its victim a cause can be made manifest in the life of a person through utterances let's be very fast utterances and pronouncements utterances and pronouncements the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that utterances and pronouncements have prophetic implications whether from the positive dimension or the negative dimension every time an utterance is made the bible tells us it has an effect that is supported from the realm of the spirit that every time i open my mouth to utter an utterance the bible tells us whether it was done in ignorance or it was done intelligently that there is a support system in the realm of the spirit that helps to back the outcome of that pronouncement so the bible says say not before an angel i made a mistake causes can find expression through written words this is largely seen in not much of this is understood in christianity but when you study world religions you find out that there are many religions that um, work like a legal system they have from slates to books to mantras to manuals and all kinds of things and all of these gadgets and these documents are a system and whenever they are invoked in a certain dimension and a manner they have capacity to program woes upon the life of the people. These are the basic ways that the Bible reveals to us that a cause can be communicated to an individual. Now, very quickly, what is the character of a cause? I'm being very, I'm, I'm talking tonight like a lecturer because I want us to pray and I really want everybody to understand this. It is easy to know that a territory, listen carefully, maybe let me change the word and call it a siege. Let me change the word and call it woes so that it will psychologically relate to you. But the name is a cause. If I change the name, it's only for your comfort, not to change the reality. It is called a cause are we together our idea of a cause is someone who offends you then you make a pronouncement in anger and it brings a cause no no it is that idea that makes us feel guilty say no 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 i didn't offend anybody no in this world once you are alive you have to find out what happened before you because you can be a victim of a story that predates your existence. Are we together now? It is easy to know that a personality, a family, a territory is under a cause. The first indication of the presence of a cause in a life and a family is patterns. Repetition of negative patterns that seem to veto the individual's prayer life that seem to veto the individual's supposed spiritual activities please pay attention patterns patterns the classic indication of curses and blessings in the bible is patterns 
patterns the same way the same way you can know that a man a place an individual is blessed there is a track record of frequent happenings regardless of the condition are we together yeah so we look at the life of abraham isaac jacob the israel of god and we see a pattern everyone who spoke against them was judged by god there was something upon them every time they violated his dictates they were given to their enemies it was a pattern patterns are very common in the lives of people now we just pretend that they are not there you see let me tell you something one of the major reasons why people do not rise in power and faith listen carefully is because of insincerity when you want to approach spiritual things you must be open-hearted and sincere are we together your heart must be broken and contrite this pattern ranges from all kinds and it happens everywhere there are patterns as far as finances are concerned there are patterns as far as family lives are concerned you turn and look around the average family in africa and you will know that there are patterns now pay attention and follow me to the end of the lecture don't be quick to just say no 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 but it doesn't exist i think i did something about it a cause causeless if it still remains the cause is there a cause causeless a cause causeless if i have a boil in my hand and i go to doctor if i come to you and i have a boil in my hand you will tell me that this boil is a reaction it's an effect of something is that true the boil is showing that something is wrong so the cause is not the failure the failure is a message the patterns are a message they are not the cause the cause is spiritual the cause is an atmosphere it's like a cloud it's like a mantle that an individual can carry has capacity to break barriers has capacity to follow you it can pursue a man it can overtake a man the bible personifies a cause in deuteronomy 28 you see that he spoke to them a list of blessings and then causes he said it will pursue you and overtake you travel to london travel to uk travel to your village go to school marry be wherever it can follow you it has that capacity that limitless ability a quality only given to spiritual things a cause is not failure a cause is not barrenness a cause is not retrogression all those things are messages they are symbols that signify the presence of such an atmosphere upon a man hallelujah are we blessed <laughs> joshua chapter 7 let's look at it very quickly something interesting happened there we'll read verse 1 then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. joshua chapter 7 verse 1 and then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12 but the children of israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing for achan the son of kami the son of zabdi the son of zerah of the tribe of judah took of what and the anger of the lord was kindled against who who carried something god was angry against help me now I, I, there's a revelation i want to show you who participated in the loot help me did they loot as a congregation did he consult them to loot the bible says he smuggled an item that he was prohibited to carry correct and then what happened the anger of the lord was kindled against who verse 10 and the lord said unto joshua get thee up wherefore liest thou toss upon thy face because they were defeated a small city defeated them and joshua went to god israel had who sin it never said achan had sin we're bible students he never said achan had sin he said israel 
had seen and they have transgressed my covenant which I commanded them for they have even they, 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 they have even taken of their costing and have also stolen and dissembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff verse 12 therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies but turn their backs before their enemies why they started by taking something a cost and in verse 12 they themselves were one man whose eyes saw something and he said no I can't let this thing go like that and he smuggled it quietly and put it in his pocket and God was watching and God said Israel you have seen and all of them think of the innocent people that died in the war they were all preparing oh God will give us I mean if God gave us Jericho what is AI a small town and in their midst someone smuggled an item and all of a sudden they went to battlefield imagine them moving warriors and they were utterly defeated and Joshua the embarrassment was too much and he went back to God crying and God said stand up please this is not the issue of prayer you need to understand I need to give you understanding don't just lie down crying for nothing he said Israel has seen they took something and by this time he said they themselves were a cause he said neither will I be with you anymore except he destroy the accursed from among you the accursed was no longer a thing but a person accursed is real I wish they were not I would have just told you I was joking let's be serious now accursed is real don't you see them in your family I know you act like they are not there don't you see them around listen carefully don't you see them in the life of pastors don't you see them in the life of apostles, prophets, great people? A cause does not mean you are a sinner. Write it down. You have to get this. A sinner like one possessing the name. Listen, listen. I want to teach you something. Just pay attention. Whatever you don't understand, just keep following. A cause is not necessarily a symbol that an individual personally sinned against God. There are many families. There are many individuals carrying things in their lives that they can laugh around and pretend in church that this thing does not exist. It doesn't happen. But we are watching with our eyes. Remember the Bible says a cause causeless shall not come. Meaning if it comes, don't just probe the effect. What is the cause? Back to my boil example so i have a boil and my hand is swollen and i run to the doctor and say doctor help me and the doctor looks at it and smiles and says ah your white blood cells are fighting something are we together now they are fighting something or um what they call this thing fever sign ah pastor jt good to see you i didn't realize it was him hallelujah and then fever sign and then he tells me that that fever sign is a sign that there's war somewhere when others are feeling cold you are feeling hot correct you try to stand in the sun you start feeling cold again you don't know what is wrong with you that reaction is a sign that a war is going on somewhere whoever wins you will soon know if you don't recover it's a sign you are not winning and that means you must seek assistance and the doctor will say okay I need to introduce something in your life and then he introduces something and all of a sudden things start changing and you cannot enter your body to know whether you are winning so you use the absence of that evidence as a sign that you are recovering all of a sudden listen a boil that refused to go you put rub it refused to go you put local herbs are we together palm oil it refused to go immediately you know something is wrong this is not sometimes it can even mock you and go and come out or come out somewhere else the boy is saying it doesn't matter where i come out i can come out anywhere for as long as what is causing it is still there but when the doctor explains to you the issue is not the boil 
the issue is an issue. Sometimes he will not even ask you to bust it. He introduces something to your system. Then a boil, causeless, starts drying. You watch it dry and it disappears and within a week, you never believe anything is there. Then you now confirm by the absence of that thing that it is gone. So don't sit down and tell me, no boil is swelling. We are all watching it grow. You say, no boil. We are seeing it. We are not stupid. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. You may not appreciate this because somebody is paying your bills now. You may not appreciate this because no matter how careless you are, you don't sow but somebody's harvest is paying for you. So you are thinking you are the one sowing. A day will come you will be exposed to a reality where you will now see that your life is dependent on the outcome of your understanding. There are patterns that should not happen to believers. If they are happening, something should be dealt with. It should not be ignored. It should be understood and dealt with. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I tell you the truth by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Causes are real. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. There are families today that all the men in that family never move forward. They never rise. They never become anything. Ejimi, the men do not have to be irresponsible. They are sincere people. Very sincere people. There are families where every month per year, somebody must die. Regardless of how sincere they are. Loving people. It can even be after a church service. On their way back, they die. After a prayer meeting, rattling in tongues for hours, you can't say they don't love God. There are families, if a man looks at you and says, I love you, even that man, what will happen to him that night? He will never repeat that statement again. Now, he doesn't know why. You too, you don't know why. You think the issue is, okay, am I too fat? Let me be on a diet. No. You are trying to rub palm oil on our boil. Remember our story. I know many hardworking men. Hey, Jimmy, they have been working in their 20s sincere godly people till today they are begging there are people who start building 20 years it has not reached LinkedIn level no brothers and sisters we are intelligent how many graduates you see in a family seven graduates the only employed person in that family is a driver are they so stupid they are not lazy they will tell you they are not lazy most times we think it's because they are unserious. And people erroneously say, just forget it's just that they are not hardworking. Please be careful. Some of you, as you are sitting now, if you are to be sincere, you know things are not alright. There are families where you give birth to people, things happen. There are pastors, hey Jimmy, they refuse to deal with these things and they get into ministry. Anointed. Remember my story. Born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. Walking miracles, but still oppressed by demons. I went to people quietly and I said, what is wrong? They said, oh, don't worry. Man, let me tell you. I don't think there are few people here that quote scriptures more than me. The demons didn't respect it. Shocking. Call the name of Jesus, nothing happened. How do you call the name of Jesus on a crusade ground? And somebody is walking out of a crutch. And you call it for your life and nothing happens. I knew I needed to understand something. Your victory starts when you are humble. When you have, you say, no, no, no. There has to be a puzzle to this equation. It can be God. Mysterious sicknesses. There are people today carrying hepatitis, A, B, and whatever. It's, they don't have, when you go to the hospital and say, I have hepatitis, they ask you who had it in your family. Even genetics support the reality of transgenerational transference. There is such a possibility. The fact that you look like your father should teach you something about the realm of the spirit. The fact that you look like your mother and your born again did not change your facial appearance. 
is a spiritual reality something listen something should tell you that this thing is real now, you better trust the holy spirit all of us men of god are not older than you by more than 20 30 years the holy spirit is an ancient spirit is god's own spirit he was there when this thing started hallelujah a curse causeless shall not stand i have watched sincere people a jimmy bound sincerely there are pastors today as anointed as whatever you look at them you think it's the holy spirit no growth no increase and it's not only ministry it's a pattern anointed born again nothing happens no growth no increase how many people have they thrown away from they went to us just when they went they went with complete papers as soon as they were vetting people one got missing and you know that they did we here say look let me explain to you my papers were complete they said come and explain to your embassy in nigeria and they drive them down what of all these devilish things that fly around people's body fibroid lump hiv cancer see it killing men now once a man is 45 years old he starts getting afraid ask the doctors they will tell you prostate cancer once people start getting to 45 46 they are now they are now afraid because of cancer once a lady is approaching 28 29 even doctors start saying marry fast too because any moment from now and every stranger will start growing so once you are 30 and you are not married they will tell you look there's no room to hearing god just hurry up and get all your children fast how many do you plan to have five you need at least 10 years hurry up and catch up it's nonsense the devil is a liar this night patterns how about barrenness a trace of it how about fruitfulness but that not productive you give birth to 10 children all of them are useless there are patterns the ladies must get pregnant out of wedlock before the way now they are innocent and the condition that leads to the pregnancy is the same thing that happened to someone else they don't know themselves but it happened i have counseled people like that Brothers and sisters, there is such a thing as that. And tonight, God wants to show us that there is a system in the kingdom where people can have dominion. It is not just about what Christ has done. It is that we can be alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in our heart. We have claimed things that we don't know anything about. Let me tell you something about ministry in Zaria that you do not know. I think it was you, Sam, I was talking to. Minis the lifespan of successful ministry in zaria is three years you are a ministry in zaria if you survive three years you know the mystery of continuity after three years something must arise attempting to rubbish your life a scandal are we together one kind of failure something will just evolve out of nowhere there are so many people especially music artists they've risen from zaria men of god risen from zaria but you don't know where they are today you see a musician just appears and for six months he's been invited everywhere and after that you just go still next we are waiting for the next person <laughs> yeah. there is a level the devil pegs men and pegs their destiny you never rise beyond a level there are families is defined for as long as you oscillate within that ambient of relevance it's okay but try to cross it that line will draw you back and say are you blind don't you see that there's a long line are we together men don't live beyond certain times the moment you are 35 death comes see i saw this pattern in my own extended family the only person in my father's family that is alive now is him and one of his sisters i've shared it with you 
very sincere people none of them died a good death mysterious sicknesses that will rubbish your life and none of them ever rose to certain levels some of your fathers are like that they started working from 22 as it is now if you send them 5,000 they will kneel down and say thank you it's a cause it's a cause some of you are in school as students but they are calling you from home anything for this month you say mommy just take it easy we keep laughing and say there is nothing wrong see let me tell you you don't deal with it you marry it follows you there you don't deal with it you because as you are married once you are standing with your necktie two of you are bringing everything you represent and you move into the house do you know this is why people erroneously call people witches and wizards it is because they are open to the prophetic but because they do not have the accurate understanding of the word of god they see the spirit that is behind that activity and mistaking it for the individual carrying it out so they say no 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 and truly what they are saying is not a lie they say your trouble started from the day this lady one lady come all of a sudden you said you marry her you now got married you were a millionaire in five months five months you are looking for ten thousand to buy a new shoe mysterious things happen your first car got missing the second car police police caught it the third car is somewhere else your truck capsided like that the driver slept off listen and your life is reduced back and then you now go to a man of god i'm not i'm not talking against men of god you know i love the body of christ but you go somewhere and then the man genuine man of god now looks and says ah who did you marry Tosi. <laughs> thank god you are even still alive it is just an example darling just an example are we together now give me your hand now. run away from me you want to deny me now to sin be nice to me be a nice wife are we together and then the man you see men will consult quietly they will announce in public is the anger you see publicly the man now returns home good evening darling or honey say see let me tell you I am throwing everything out of my life that is causing me failure he stops eating your food because he believes that eating your food is why he's now having high blood pressure and this lady is sincere she loves God are we together now and they cannot un why will you call such a nice woman a witch she may not be a witch but she's connected to something that is causing that effect Plus the one you are now bringing. We have not even talked about the one of the man. Hybrids of different formulas that are as a result of different spiritual things. And you find out that things don't work in people's lives. That's why in certain villages, they even apportion certain regions and tell you they are what? Cost. It doesn't happen in your village. Where they isolate a group of people and say these people, whoever marries who either die or something and sincerely speaking you go and marry out of bold face and say love is love love is blind and Jimmy said marriage will open your eyes you now go and get married and find out that after the marriage two weeks after the marriage you are not hearing again one month after the marriage you can't walk again you see that tell me why a man who has been working in the civil service for 30 years should not have up to 1 million in his account how many children grew up with him two children he's still poor there are families win lottery get anything they will still be poor it has nothing to do with money it's a system listen the system of causes outlive those who cost it it can outlive it the primary purpose of a cause is to create a system for transgenerational allegiance transgenerational allegiance allegiance to deities ultimately an allegiance to satan a system to create transgenerational allegiance our grandmothers and great-grandmothers 
you hear of one woman giving birth to 14 children never went to a hospital no cs out of those 14 children one was a set of twins one was a set of triplets and truly she gave birth to them in the midst of fire and you still see her a mother of 13 children standing her stomach is as straight as an arrow no fibroid no nothing why because before the delivery there is a priest who asks the god and say remember just like we agreed we have been serving you half of our guinea corn is hanging on the tree in respect to your demands so whatever look upon that guinea corn and that goat that disappeared and please this woman now all of a sudden missionaries had passion but no intelligence they came to africa now we love the missionaries but don't forget that they were very limited people say they died of malaria are, are you are you with what you know now was it malaria that really killed them they didn't die of malaria malaria was the servant like a tray that carried that charm you just come in and all of a sudden you organize a crusade and say stop worshiping this deity 300 years old of worship and allegiance you have the gods to bring the head bring everything burn it <laughs> and an old woman is just looking at you and pitying you jesus saves jesus heals they leave you quietly because they know that ignorance can alienate a man from the life of god and the moment you finish first you die all the followers die the remaining return and they say look this thing does not work if i didn't know this i would have been a failure all my life are we together i have seen this thing happen with all humility i don't know how many of my extended people especially from my paternal side that i can look and say this person is successful today no no Causes can come directly from God. <laughs> directly from God. This is not the cause of the law. The cause of the law is not the, all the cause there is in the Bible. Directly from God. Number two, causes can be transgenerational. Products of ancestry. What we call ancestral causes. There is such a thing. As ancestral causes there is such a thing number three self-inflicted causes self-inflicted causes there are programmings that can come upon the lives of people which is a product of self-infliction The cause that we call the cause from God is what I also call a sinner's cause. Every sinner is under a cause. Everyone who has not acknowledged Jesus Christ, please hear me carefully, as his Lord and Savior, believe it or not, you are under a cause. You are under a cause. What is the cause? The dominion of evil perpetually remains above you is a cause the moment you are not in Christ you qualify for the very cause that is upon creation that from dust thou art and to dust thou shall return that tons and thistles shall come upon your ground and with the, the sweat of your brow shall you feed there is a cause that is upon creation it cannot be taken away you can only be exempted from it hear me please that is the reason why the old earth will be purged there is a reason why fire will purge this earth there is a reality that is hanging upon this earth right now individuals born by default in sin did my mother conceive me he says and you are a victim of it
mortality is a cause that came with creation there is such a possibility that a man can extend his life you can access the reality of God's life failure the cause if you are not in Christ listen you are not in Christ you qualify for the sinner's cause it's not something bad it's not even about what you did it's a reality God's own pronouncement upon creation as a result of men alienating his ways and then I said number two ancestral causes ancestral causes are products of violating the terms and agreements products of violating the terms and agreements that constituted the basis for mutual relationship between men and deities there was such a provision in Africa as a continent where men fraternize with deities you see that in ancient Babylon you see that in Egypt the sun god Ra alongside thousands of other gods there was a very intelligent spiritual system of fraternity with them an agreement a covenant causes operate on legal grounds they don't operate by mistake they operate on legal grounds there is a legal system in the kingdom and don't forget righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne a system that God is obliged to honor who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will that's the liberty he's bringing to you tonight who can stand against my king no one can no one will oh when you walk out of this many of you will begin to see things change in your life in remarkable ways remarkable ways your prayer life will be so reduced to only worship because you will search around and see that there are no issues of concern again there is such a possibility that a man can sit down bless on the left and on the right an effulgence of zoe the reality of god's life practically at work in a man and they look at you and say pastor alpha is it true that you came from kogi state with this rest roundabout the witches left you they didn't leave me i came out access the mystery because they are still there if they left you they will leave everybody there you mean you come from this state and you are not a drunkard no the drunkenness is still there I came out by a mystery of exemption this house I built it at what age 27 where did you get the money from the only person that built a house here was the king of the village and he built it at 63 and you tell them well 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 welcome to a new order where intelligence creates reality do you know you would die and you say no no the same mystery that built the house without resistance keeps the house You had the testimony of the gentleman diagnosed of prostate cancer and all of a sudden is that prostate cancer he would have died like a chicken then we will say how can they all lie Sharia? you see what how we convince ourselves as if the will of god is a mystery i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil i don't know 
poverty does not look like good oppression does not look like good no sir I counsel a couple a Jimmy. they got married their wedding night that's supposed to be a night of joy their very wedding night a stranger walked physically to the woman and told her the same thing I did to your mother is what I would do to you she true story she got pregnant according to what she told me they were even happy people were dancing and in the night this stranger came again and this is all he did on her stomach and she got up in the morning bleeding profusely as if she would die machines don't diagnose causes machines cannot detect the presence of demons they only detect the effect of their presence we went to Ida we always go there for Pastor Alpha's conference and I remember one of the years when we traveled there he took us on a tour and began to explain to us we went to greet the king the man refused to see us later on and then we went somewhere and I saw foul remember market square one market square that we went I saw it there with my eyes and people were passing whoever did the sacrifice just scattered it there witchcraft is real if you see anybody rising he is exempted or yet to be a victim you hear what I said exempted or or the devil is allowing their ignorance to keep them going while they laugh at others I say it's because you don't know the day will do you it will scatter and rubbish you into pieces there are people who are so irrelevant as far as their impact to hell is concerned the devil will say just allow them to be busy they think it's because they have overcome the day something about your life and ministry strikes hell you will see the reaction immediately you can be praying your childish prayer and the devil say focus on those who are really just leave that person and you can convince yourself that because nothing has happened you say no 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 I'm, i know what to say i don't talk too much and things happen the day that you ever say anything that strikes a chord in hell suddenly strangers will come to you and say don't do it again brothers and sisters if you see men rise as if satan does not exist it's not it's because they have accessed a mystery that immunes them this is what i'm teaching you tonight but to refuse that this does not exist is the beginning of deception beginning of deception the western world has been cheated in this area in a very big way because of advancement in medicine and advancement in all of these things oh they leave it to all the spiritists and the, as the, the transcendental meditators and all of them come the nation of america listen their fathers understood this mystery they walked in power and when satan found out that that whole generation had covenanted their lives to god he left them and started growing with their children he said let's leave the fathers to die in the crusade ground and he started growing with the children and all the children came up with all kinds of things you know i mean there's if, if you are sick right now you cough ambulance is coming in five minutes and so they don't believe it now look at the disaster happening in the western world where people can kill themselves on youtube shoot their children effects they laughed at us in africa before that we are the ones who used to behave like that you carry arrows now they have a reprobate mind a generation successfully captured by hell a cause is a mystery a very deep mystery hallelujah how many beautiful ladies do you know beautiful godly god-fearing the painful part is nobody has even come to say hi my dear you know you're a pretty lady it's not a lie you know what i'm saying it's not a lie how many parents went to all kinds of rivers 
and were dipped how many times to be pregnant there is a system in the kingdom for exemption but the first key is to acknowledge that there is such a reality on earth a lot of people don't believe causes are real it's foolish to believe sickness is real and poverty is real and not believe causes are real the same boss brought all of them how you know you are free from causes is that you also don't fall sick and you don't get poor if you can still get poor as a believer then make no mistakes to say a cause cannot come are you getting what i'm saying if as a believer i say are you born again yes are you blessed no i'm poor they say okay it's okay with time it will change are you a believer yes are you sick oh very sick are you a believer yes is there a manipulation of that no 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 are we not mocking ourselves what is the difference between sickness poverty and causes if we do not get this we will destroy ourselves every time i look at this next generation of koinonia our little ones do you know what i tell myself we have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come correct it fast i look at these dear ones and i'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims our parents were sincere people but they didn't know the way out so many of us we are in the middle of two generations correcting the errors of the father and setting precedence for a new generation is worth enduring are you hearing what i'm saying hear me you are you are hearing this message tonight if you are a lady here as you are hearing it just just know that you are you are hearing it not just for yourself but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no. i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that is me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that is me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way How many students do very well? Secondary school, brilliant people. Wayek, nine papers. They step into the university and all of a sudden, 100 level result, nine Fs. You think they are dull. They are conducting tutorials. But they enter the exam hall. They only remember in the night when the exam has finished. It's not everybody who is lazy. Let me tell you. What of recurrent sicknesses? There are people today, there is no month they don't fall sick. Go to the hospital, they will tell you nothing is wrong. Now the doctors are wiser. Thank God for spiritual people becoming doctors. They don't waste time again. The moment they diagnose you, they see that you have come once, twice. They'll say, do you know what? Find any available crusade and run quickly. Go to the front early and stand there and trust God to wipe your tears. That's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens i look forward to times where god will give men and women of power the moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out you detect by the spirit this is witchcraft right there shagato soto labaya help that lady and all of a sudden you find out that that woman gives birth koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons let me tell you make no mistakes only god knows how many powers try to kill me every day i told you all the time only god knows how many people take my names to shrines oh it has never happened in israel there was a woman called the widow of nain what killed 
after her husband she had only one child one child the husband now died the child now died on her way going jesus saw and said no this is not the issue of burial i need to change something here there are families you will see them in a community 32 people only one percent of them are men and all the men are madmen they are not they are, their brains are not even in place again madmen it's a woman that pays the school fees of children it's a woman that drives car is a woman that builds a house is a woman that does everything all the men become useless you see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer is a cause There are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents either they are in exile or they die please tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this you you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children go through this thing i'm telling you what of poverty what of poverty there are many people who went to harvard came back anything they start die the day you want to start importing it that's when government banned it why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start what of people in ministry they think it's normal everybody they raise disappoints them there is a spirit they raise so many men but they disappoint them there is no helper a man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith you should have people to you should not beg for bread again but there is no man you call for help there is nobody some of you see some of these women walking on the street 71 years carrying firewood where are the children she gave birth to where are they one is in prison the other one is security somewhere and they are about to throw him out You find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of god it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent it's a programming you reign you ancient zion king Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and we, Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. Listen, help me. How can a man? lose a job in 1999 until now he has not gotten a job is it that dull see let me tell you something sit down if you can we'll soon stand up and pray Listen, listen to me. When you study the laws of mechanics, Sir Isaac Newton postulated a law. We call it the first law of mechanics. And this is what it states. That everybody 
continues in its uniform motion or a static state right it remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if i leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you i should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents homes there is such a thing they bring their wife all the cousins and their wives to their father's house you see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house the guy works in nmpc but cannot rent a good house you ask him why you say okay i'll do something about it 45 years he's still in his father's house they share the parlor they compartmentalize the kitchen if you buy your first car 50 years is that a testimony no you build a house at 55 is that a testimony take seriously what i'm saying what of ministries there are churches that this cause of poverty has still landed even on the ministers you will see a church with members but prosperity zero when it comes to finances you will never see increase in that area but tonight god put this body in my heart because it's time for somebody's lifting yes it is yes it is yes it is barrenness every look at me i want to tell you something now and please listen we are here to help ourselves but let me give you an information every case of barrenness is spiritual e-v-e-r-y every case of barrenness is spiritual let me repeat it every case of barrenness is spiritual so says the bible the remedy for every case of barrenness was spiritual and god opened the womb of rachel and god opened the womb of leah and god shot the womb of a milka david's wife every so that when some things happen to you you don't waste time you know where to go for to look for help quickly quickly recurrent deaths i remember one lady i can't remember um who now but there used to be a lady i remember the story faintly now that was dedicated to snakes literally snakes and the way snake molds this molting it happens to her physically the outer skin begins to you know swell like peel i'm not talking of all just skin irritation literally like a snake molting it's good to marry from the house of god because the job has been done you hear what i'm saying it's a good advice i'm telling you no matter what is pursuing you bring it to the house of god the house of god is a factory where true solution is provided when the devil wants to rubbish you he makes you successful and then he goes to connect you with a very wrong person and your life begins to know style a cause causeless shall not stand self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding
seeing then that these realities are true what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them I'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free ready Psalms 102 verse 13 is a mystery very few people understand please give us Psalms 102 verse 13 read it if you're a child of God one two read three things mercy time favor mercy time favor thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her even the set time the kairos moment the opportune time is come because of that arise and have mercy let me tell you something about the mercy of God. The mercy of God is not an attribute for sinners. The salvation of sinners only passed through the mystery of mercy. But mercy is more than, more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation. You have to understand this. The mercy of God is part of the attributes of his person. The mercy of God is a system a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free the mercy of God is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of God did everything wrong but every time God will want to come in, he will remind him. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Bible tells us that the Lord's mercy can triumph. Come on now. That the Lord's mercy can triumph over judgment. So when I get to the end of my road, I know that I am deserving of everything should happen. That should happen. Yes! My father sacrificed to idols. Yes, my carelessness. I am not a titer. I am qualified for financial bankruptcy. The last card, I danced, it did not work. I prayed, it did not work. The attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. Samson lost his strength to Delilah
Delilah. The Bible says his eyes were plugged. The symbol of light in his life. And the mystery that surrounded his power. His hair shoven completely. And they took him. The Bible says they took him to their temple. To make mockery of God. Everything was over. But that Samson leaned there. They didn't watch the hair grow. He said, oh Lord. He cried for mercy. And the moment he did that. See. There is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered. Try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen. It is of the Lord's mercy. Meaning. My lifetime. Is too fast for me to not have made a mistake. But it is of the Lord's mercy. Somewhere in my work. He creates a system. A provision. See let me tell you. It is on grounds of this. That the Bible can say. Rejoice not over me my enemies. For when you think. Ah. There was a time his car now had an accident. Will he ever rise again? Don't go. Ah. The worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy. You are finished. Mercy. And Samson pushed. And the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime. What of blind Bartimaeus? Thou son of David. Hold on. He never said heal me the Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart I thought it would be thou son of David heal me he said thou son of David have mercy mercy is an open check and God had to come he left and came thou son of David there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing their quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise are we together listen the mercy of god is an attribute you need in your life is not for sinners the mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations there is such a thing as limitation if I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting I will be lying no I have mastered the art of God's mercy years ago during a pastor's, a pastor's conference the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying they said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy Jesus met a woman by the well. When he met that woman by the well, they started a conversation. Number one, that woman was a prostitute. Correct? And then because of that, more the disciples, oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt Jesus. You are a bad woman. And Jesus started talking with her. And she started touching his mercy. And at the end of it, that woman ran and said, come and see the man who has told me what I have done. Mercy. Mercy vetoes everything in your life. And when the door settles, you are still standing. That's why you see, those who know this, when people are dancing and saying, the power of my might has given me this. Oh, this great ministry, Koinonia, Apostle, what wisdom. You are such an anointed man. I just laugh and look at them. You need to hear my prayer in the secret place. The mercy of God. 
when David one day the Bible says when kings go for war David was meandering his balcony correct and he looked at somebody's wife she was bathing and from the altitude he could see her nakedness and he desired her the Bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came he now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call Uriah in the heat of war not minding whether the nation of Israel would die they carried Uriah and brought Uriah Uriah said my king I'm here he says I just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently Uriah says, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of Israel I should be there in the heat of battle and he got angry and all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between Cain and David Cain killed Abel blood started crying meaning when David killed Uriah blood should be crying correct David went wept 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 when all of that happened you would think that after the, the child died you will now tell the wife it's okay go I will marry you again who was the mother of Solomon <laughs> he did it again correct is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song if it had not been the Lord by my side now may Israel say if it had not been the Lord he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his message shall endure ever faithful ever sure and they will begin to sing it God want to destroy David David would just find he knew how to just tie God down and God said this is a man after my own heart a man that understand not even Moses was called a man after his heart mercy this is what our families need this is what we need this is what many ministries need this is what many businesses need let me tell you something we're rounding up there is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy number one a broken and a contrite heart write it down arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender mercy I see day after day. the blood we invoke his mercy for you to sit down and believe your forefathers did not do anything you are a joker but the mercy of God has a way of exempting you the mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot the mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life regardless of what was seen about you A particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard 
and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and david said who is that was angry say you are the one no watch this do you know david was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that will deal with i don't want to go there but do you know when you read that scripture when david asked for mercy god said that death had been taken from him david would have died david would have died the wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I'm to wait until I know all those things I may never rise so he introduces his mercy and I rise to realms that even me I know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of God you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of God took you there as we travel around I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me when I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look I say except for the mercy of God who dash monkey banana who really dash monkey banana you see it's not false humility it's an acknowledgement of truth the mercy of God you are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account you better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you are you hearing what I'm saying there is a dimension in ministry I believe in principles I teach principles here but let me tell you the truth 
there are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works there are still gaps and one thing i've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only god can fill that's where his mercy comes in and he amplifies and multiplies little things and your life becomes a sign and a wonder because i have seen women who never trained their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love god they are wonderful people walking in the ways of god but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory had glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me when you know him you know he's full of compassion and mercy i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever love him forever because this god I learned certain principles I knew now I was already getting their results when I learned the principle I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified I have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before I knew the principles that brought them yes this is true way before I understood principles of church growth and increase I had been seeing the hand of God and it's, there is a science to growth if you don't know it it should not happen but mercy 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 tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives upon our families and take away this air of pride that makes you think I have to marry because I'm beautiful I think I'm intelligent I should be a millionaire by now the pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy one of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes against yokes listen i've seen people edgy me they are not even born again yet but sincerely you know they call it in house affairing genie you've seen that happen they take their names to the Habalis and the Habalis will reject it and they are not born again. They don't love God. They don't know him. But their hearts are so sincere. Somehow they know there is a God out there and whoever it is, they are grateful to him. And God just protects them. Regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful, their hearts are wicked, yet God protects them. I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home they never fear death and somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man god will deal with you but you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead they never fear anything they hear that there is crisis bomb will explode where you know they are in the night you still see him back safe and hale and hearty you didn't die and he laughs That guy doesn't take communion. That guy has never attended prayer meeting. That guy has never attended miracle service. He doesn't even know what his genotype is. Honestly, he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy. All he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to God. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. This is what has kept some of our parents so because you know that if it's based on keeping the principles of the kingdom they would have died since it would have it would have swallowed them if the lord had not been by my side now may israel say i think of what men would have done to me when i didn't know the principles of restoration 
when I didn't know the principles of long life I imagine what would have happened and I wonder how many things I do not know now that I will know in the future how I walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death yet his mercy keeps me if all else fail invoke his mercy I give you a formula if all else fails invoke his mercy you have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened Lord mercy for my family they are all sinners mercy for my family mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men nobody in my family is making it and on legal basis the devil has his hold upon them and if you try to talk to them the painful part is they won't listen to you because the God of this system has blinded their minds but you can invoke mercy invoke mercy invoke mercy are you blessed tonight I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song Himela Himela Oh Kaka help me Oh yeah Who knows the stanza Himela Himela Yes we know Just that stanza the stanza of the song that's what I really want to hear when I think upon your goodness and your faithfulness each day, I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy. Oh, hallelujah! To receive the kind of love that you give.
mention the things you know didn't come as a result of your prayer life things that are attributes of his mercy and benevolence if you are ashamed of it you are not a candidate for mercy tonight And you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me joshua the high priest standing before the lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that i have taken out of fire and he said the lord rebuke you listen the mercy of god is a weapon you can use it and say satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Lift your voice. Invoke mercy. Hey, Invoke mercy. Repeat after me. Your voice. Every voice. Every voice. Every voice of mercy. Kapada. Repeat after me. Your voice. Your voice of mercy. Your voice of mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in Christ when I see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! invoke mercy come on now invoke mercy invoke the blood invoke the blood Hallelujah. Hear me. 
the Bible says blotting out every handwriting there are handwritings there are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out it can blot it out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blotted you need my life patterns of barrenness patterns of failure come on now koinoni are you praying Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh. Let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says, the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. 5 verse 7. Please quickly, we want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 7. Our fathers have seen and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. But now 
if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft. And now that they have done it, if the land is cursed, I exempt myself. I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness. Listen, I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Koinonia, are you praying? Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you S S. That made you A S. That gave you hepatitis. It must go tonight. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you. If God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. You hear me? I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. Lekrete keto kosoto balakata. Shabrekete kosuta bariata kata. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now. In the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is caused for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, He says, And if ye be Christ's, 
Then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said i have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that mark be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes SS Jakatosia AS there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of Jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of causes and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now
announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of Jesus Christ I provoke restoration right now 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 I pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice and sing yeah 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 lord you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord is giving you beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, and a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. There is a woman that came here with a sick child. What's wrong with him? Help her with the mic. No mic. What's wrong with him? Huh? SS. SS. This is not the situation. I'll pray for him, but in fact, this this is a baby it's not even somebody as old as this this is somebody within the age range of maybe a small child that is sick i don't know if it's inside or outside the lord wants to heal that person go dear go dear go dear Come, your breakthrough has come. Yeah, yeah. Where are you coming from? Samaru. You believe Jesus will touch you right now? You believe that? Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. And other things. You know what I'm talking about, right? Listen, you have to give God everything. Everything. I'm not talking of born again. Everything. Total surrender. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? There's no one leg in, one leg out. It has to be completely all for him. Hold my hands and let me pray for you. You all good, yeah? I'll pray for you. Will you let her go now in the name of Jesus? I see you in the spirit. You will let her go now. I'm speaking to this other lady. Don't worry, she may not be looking at me. I'm not talking to her. Release her family right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I cause darkness. I cause darkness over the family. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. From every power that is not of God. Mother, I will, there will be a prayer session and I will pray for the sons. But let me just lay hands on him since you came out. Someone had a dream this morning. You saw me laying hands on you just this morning. Early this morning. I know people have these kinds of dreams, but someone specifically had that dream this morning. Father, heal this boy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, look at me. You love Jesus with all your heart. Very much. He will do mighty things through your life. Just be patient. Huh? Now is not the time of manifestation. Now is the time of building. But it is true that he will do mighty things through your life. Hold my hands. Father, do to her what she saw in the dream. In the name of Jesus. It will do something to your spirit. It's an awakening that is happening to you. chains of limitation over you now I cast those chains I set them on fire in the name that is above all names may those chains be broken and I separate you from error there is a spirit of error that can come with zeal when it is misdirected I separate you from error you will be circumspect and you will only be accurate in the name of Jesus. Where is Isaac in Oshri? Is he around? It's time for you to step into a new level. The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing like a surgery being done on you. There is something that so badly keeps you from rising to the next level. And the Lord says, it's time I prune it. It's a desire. It's an appetite that he's killing because it does not come from him wants to do mighty things. Hold my hands. Kill that appetite oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let that leave. Everything that does not name the name of Christ may it leave. Come. This gentleman you. It's time to respond to the dream you had. Come. These are wicked forces of darkness. Tying your life and your destiny down with delay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of God. That demonic dream and the experience that, had, that you had there, let it never return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever gives them legal access to your life is sealed and broken by the blood. last person and then we'll just come my dear this lady no yes come you now yes let no man despise you for out of you will come a treasure let no one despise you. Let no one despise you. For out of you will come a treasure. 
the Lord says, I should tell you, there is this treasure that is hidden in earthen vessels, that the excellency and power may be of God and not of men. Come, hold my hands. There is a fragrance that is coming upon your life from today that will make you uncommon, uncommon, distinguished, for you love the Lord with your whole heart. You love the Lord with your whole heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that makes men despise, I curse it. I curse it. Hallelujah. Wow. Acts chapter 3. Turn to your neighbor and say, are you still here? I just want to charge us a bit. Welcome everybody. All those who came from far and near. Honor you. Glad to have you here. You will never be the same. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer. Being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from birth, was carried. Whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful to ask arms of them that entered into the temple who seen Peter and John follow me closely about to go into the temple asked an arm and Peter fasten, fastening his eyes upon him with John said look on us and this is the key verse verse 5 let's read together one to read And he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something expecting to receive something when he said look on us they paid attention because they were expecting that they were going to receive something as I began to pray and say Lord what would I share with your people the Lord said the only thing I need from them is expectation 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 is a proof of faith expectation is a proof that you trust God hallelujah if you if you tell me you are hungry and I dip my hands in my pocket automatically you begin to have a sign of expectation because you anticipate that I'm bringing out something is that true and so you begin to position yourself to receive and say thank you the only thing God is asking from you tonight is that you be expectant expect that sickness to leave your body expect that family captivity to come to an end expect the Lord to visit you expect to step into new levels of the anointing expect that no matter what the challenge is the power of God can step into your life it does not take time it only takes the spirit of God for where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty where the spirit of the Lord is not there is no liberty I want you to know that the spirit of God is in this place tonight and the only message the Lord asked me to communicate to you is that your heart be expectant expectant Lord I expect to be healed I expect that you will wipe my tears I expect that this situation in my life will change at once I expect it I expect it do you believe? Do you expect that God will do something in your life? God is already visiting people. You do not imagine the degree of spiritual preparation that goes in to all of our meetings. Talk less of the miracle service. So I want you to know that there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. Hallelujah. Right away we'll begin to pray and I'll just be moving in the anointing and God will minister to us. Please and please let your heart be expectant that's the only message the lord asked me to give us tonight expectation expectation expect that that which you wrote in your prayer request will be answered expect that that which you came down see don't look at the situation just be expectant be expectant the greatest enemy to expectation is your past your history your track record of failure your track record of the seeming shortcomings of God 
So every time you expect, you say, but I prayed before. But I fasted before. It says, forgetting the things that are behind. Forgetting what happened yesterday or what did not happen yesterday. I press. Everyone say, I press. I press. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. That's for two to five minutes. That's the only message the Lord asked me to bring to us tonight. Expectation. Let there be a, a depth of expectation in your heart. Lift your voice and cry to God. And say, Lord, I am expectant. Pray. Lord, as your power moves and as your spirit is touching men, I am expectant. I came with a hunger. I came for a touch. I came for an encounter. I came with an expectation. Hallelujah. 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 Before we pray, come, Pastor Femi. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's opening you up to a season of wisdom. 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 He's opening you up to strange wisdom. Wisdom. That's what you are receiving. Wisdom. Strong wisdom. He's opening you up to a season of wisdom. That's what you need for the next level of your life. Wisdom. Tremendous wisdom. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. The wisdom of the spirit. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. He's giving you wisdom. Lord, I pray that you activate fountains of wisdom in him. Strange order of wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wisdom in your decisions. Dimensions of wisdom that you have never seen before. You will make decisions that will accelerate your life. Accelerate ministry. Hallelujah. In one minute, mention everything you came with as a challenge. And say, Lord, the time has come for your grace and your power. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place, Shalom, Shalom, my father, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. Shalom. Jehovah, shalom. Time. 
Shalom, Shalom. Jehovah, Shalom. Shalom. You're welcome in this place. One more time. Shalom, yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. We're starting tonight with individuals that God is giving them breakthroughs. Every single one of those individuals will come under the anointing of the Spirit. At the count of three. Just those individuals. One, two, three. Now, now, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. That break my anointing. I release it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. All the ones separated for breakthroughs right now. Inside and outside. I release that breakthrough anointing. That breakthrough anointing. Right now, that breakthrough anointing. Right now, shake it, take it, take it, take it. It comes like a mighty rushing wind. The breakthrough anointing, the breakthrough unction. Enough of that level. Enough of that dimension. I speak it. I declare it. I prophesy it, and I release it. Take it. From your belly, out of your belly, let it gush like living waters. Out of your belly, that breaker anointing. In the name of Jesus. Out of your belly, that breaker anointing. Breakthroughs. 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 I end the struggle. I end the struggle. I end the struggle by the breakthrough anointing. I end the struggle right now. I end the struggle right now. All over the building. I end the struggle right now. Shaka ba 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 ba. Shaka ta ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hands on your stomach. Just lay your hands on your stomach. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on your stomach. He said, for out of your belly, something will happen to some people right now. Out of your belly, just keep your hands there. Father, in the name of Jesus, where are the ones you are separating? Spiritual breakthroughs. Right now. Right now. And right now, from your belly. From your belly. From your belly. From your belly. In the name of Jesus out of your belly let it flow let it flow living waters living waters living waters new dimensions living waters skatata kapata rekete tekete bekata taboskata embrata kata shekete lekes from your innermost being from your innermost being from your innermost being, from your innermost being, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought of new wine, a busting thought. Hallelujah. 
Haleluya. 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 Sabarada balada bakatia. There are people here right now. Listen. You came here because you are confused. There is no direction. You are trusting God for direction. You have prayed but there is nothing to do. You need direction desperately. Lift your hands. Lord I pray. Wherever they are right now. By the light of the spirit. My father locates them. Receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. Marital direction. Academic direction. Receive direction. Receive direction. I put it in your spirit. By the light of God. I put it in your spirit. By the light of God. I put it in your spirit. By the light of God. By the light of God. By the illumination of the spirit. Direction. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. You will hear that voice. Saying this is the way. You will hear that voice. Saying this is the strategy. You will hear that voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The Lord wants to destroy marital delay. This is what is happening right now. Marital, just keep your hands. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are people here who God wants to release them into their marital destiny. But there are horns and powers that has kept them down. You may think it's finances or you may think it's this and that. But the enemy has done this. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I release you right now. I release you. I release your family. I release your sisters. That power that has held your marital destiny. Hear the voice of the Lord. That power that has stopped marriage in your family. I speak in the name of Jesus. Be loose right now. 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 Hallelujah. Now, lift your hands. I'm seeing in the spirit a tree without fruit. And so I know the Lord wants me to destroy barrenness. 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 There is someone who came here with that situation. I don't know if it's a couple or somebody. You are expecting a miracle desperately. Let me have that one person come out. I'm going to pray for everybody right now, but we need to break that yoke right now. We need to break that yoke right now. There are families tied down. There are families tied down. When you identify that person, the person can come out. Lift your hands. Let me pray. No, the Lord wants the family to come out first. Come out first. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Where's your wife? She left my house October 26th. We don't have the courage and she packed her things and she left. We were married for eight years, no child. You've been married for eight years no child. with no child. And so because of the frustration, she left. Do you know where she is? She's in Kaduna in her mother's house. Why did she leave? Look at how the devil 
steps in to destroy families. Eight years and is living because there is no child. But are you still in touch? Well, the church tried to call her. She didn't answer. So I left her alone. I was just praying that God should just intervene. So a friend of mine invited me from Kaduna to come to this program. Where is the friend? Friend, come. I need to pray for you. May God bless you. Let's celebrate the friend. Hallelujah. These are the kind of useful and relevant friends that God should bring in your life. Friend, where are you? May God bless you. You are a good friend for inviting him to come and receive breakthrough. Do you believe your wife will come back? Yes, sir. You want her back? Yes. I'm going to pray for you. Your wife will return back. Amen. Forget about what has happened. God will give you two boys, two girls. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you, sir. You are a good man and you love God. Not only that, what do you do? I work in an electronics company, Samsung. So when we had this issue of this marriage, they have to let go of me. But I have my own personal business in Kaduna, which I, know. I God established. God is helping you. Yes, this marriage has destroyed too many things in your life. You've lost money. You've lost a lot of people. Even cars. Lost. Because I'm seeing somebody that really used to be blessed. But it's like things are going down. The Lord is going to restore you. Do you believe that? You believe that? Yes, sir. Therefore, what God has joined, the Bible says, let no man put asunder. You need to be delivered. Right? There is a spirit that is making these things happen. You are a good man. You will be delivered right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabaka Prodosu I release your destiny right now. In the name of Jesus. I call forth your wife into your life. And I open the fountains of fruitfulness. The Lord showed me two boys, two girls. And I release them to your life. This power that has tied you down and tied your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that it is released right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm holding your hands. And with these hands, may your business jack up beyond that which you have ever known. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will restore your fortune. And he will bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Friend, come. Where are you from? Kaduna too? Zaria. Zaria, here. Yeah. You came alone? Yes. No, I came with a friend. What would you want the Lord to do in your life? Marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough? Yes. What does that mean? Marriage or health in your marriage? Marriage. 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 When? This year. You believe it? Yes. Or you're just saying it? You have already spoken the word and it's happening. Let me pray for you. Father. You anointed us to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that before this year runs out, your husband comes to you and may you be happily married. You will marry a godly man. May you marry a blessed man. One who will love you and fear the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. Now lift your hands and let me pray. I'm praying for barrenness. I don't care what represents barrenness in any area of your life. Lift your hands. Barrenness can mean unfruitfulness in any aspect. He says, Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army, but he was leprous. It was an area of barrenness. Barrenness is that aspect of your life that is not productive. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now.
Lift your hands. Father, there are people who like a vine have refused to bear fruit in different areas. Others want to bear fruit but the enemy has stopped it. I pray for you right now. Every power that is sitting on your fruitfulness. Where are those people who barrenness have held their lives? Where are those people? In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon you now. Let fire come upon you now. I destroy the hold of barrenness. Everywhere in this building, I break the chains of barrenness. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, can you lift your hands? Just this row. Just this row. Just keep your hands lifted. I see a wind blowing through this row. Barrenness be destroyed from the back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. There is no hiding. Back to the front. There are many people in this row. I break it right now. I break it right now. Right now to the back. From the back to the front. 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 To the front. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone under any influence of unfruitfulness. Right to the back. In the name of Jesus. Be set free. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to minister deliverance to the oppressed. This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. When the spiritual limitation is taken away, then your life will move forward. What will happen tonight is not just for you, but for every family you represent. So there are people who will come under the influence of the anointing to be delivered. Not just for themselves, but for their families and the families you represent. Lift your hands. Father, in the name that is above all names, I'm praying. There are spirits sitting on families and the destinies of people. Appearing to people in dreams and visions and corrupting your purposes for their lives. And Lord, it's time for them to go because this is Mount Zion. Now therefore I speak to every foul spirit, every devil of darkness, every yoke, every territorial power that sits across territories. I speak in the name of Jesus by the authority of the Lord Jesus and I come under an apostolic anointing. I bring every spirit under arrest and I command that you will live at the count of three now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and they must leave you one two three spirit husband every territorial power ancestral spirits that tie people and families come out now come out now Come out now. Come out of God's people. In the name of Jesus. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. I cost those powers. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see spirits that come to people in night visions and dreams make intercourse with them and destroy their lives 
Keep those hands lifted. Lord, where are those people? Let the sword of judgment find them now. Let the sword of judgment find them now. Sisters, lift your hands. A spirit will prefer to oppress a sister than a brother because with one sister, there are many people that can become victims. Not because of immorality or anything. It's just the nature, the compelling character of women. I pray right now, anyone here, whether you know it or not, that is under the influence of any spirit that is not of God. I pray and stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, let fire come upon that spirit. Let fire come upon that spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is speaking to me that there are people here that start things but never finish. There are families that start things. You've been building a house for 10 years and will never complete it. Lift your hands. The finisher's anointing is going to come upon a few people right now. That grace to start and finish at the count of three is coming upon you for your destiny. Coming upon you for your family. Receive it right now. One, two, three. The finisher's anointing breaking the course of delay. The finisher's anointing breaking the yoke of delay. Projects that have refused to finish. Projects that have refused to finish. Hallelujah. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. Hallelujah. Now, for all those who came with sick people, you can march to the front now for prayer. Inside and outside. It's time to pray for the sick. Instrumentalists give us very anointed tunes. Worship team, help us. While that is happening, if you've not written your prayer request, do that quickly. And in case you think you need to add something to it, please don't stop playing. While you're seated here, the power of God is visiting you. So be in the spirit, inside and outside, no matter how far you are, connect in the spirit. You can call your loved ones to quickly send in their requests. There is a God that answers prayer. 
please make way for those who are coming out Jesus is the healer how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power All of you who have come out, I want you to wave goodbye to your infirmities and mean business with it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe that Jesus still heals and he will heal you right now. Hallelujah. We'll be very fast about it. Help. Just give her a chair. Hallelujah. All of you standing here believe that Jesus will heal you right now. He will give us a sign. And the sign will be from one of you. Something will happen to one of you right now. And that will give us the sign of the stirring of the waters. power of God will come strongly upon one of you right now when that happens then it will allow us to pray for the sick right now thank you Jesus father let there be miracles I see miracles everywhere be discerning be spiritual Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, this right now. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now.
Jesus, he will work well now, and that witchcraft attack will leave. Ask him if he believes. And we in Nanuko tell it to us. Tell him to what's this? The medical report. Okay. Father, this is why you anointed us. Every power that is not of God, I set you free from it right now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, you will walk normally by yourself. I release upon you the power that comes in the name of the Lord Jesus. For those of you who have never seen a miracle, watch closely what happens now. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the healing anointing coming upon you. Stomach bloated. Jesus sets you free. I come in the name of the Lord. Tell him to hold my hands. Tell him to hold my hands. Release him. Release him. Walk. Come. Come. Tell him to come.
Something's moving, something's changing. See His glory. Seems like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. See His glory. Seems like heaven on earth. Oh, look, he's surprised. What just happened to him? Yes, 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 sir. yes. Let me tell you something. It's not only settled. I pray for you. Yes, sir. That not only this will happen, but God will use you to do this. Amen. Same thing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Baba, tell him from today. No witchcraft power. No chance. Will paralyze and keep him again. Appreciate God. Go back to your seat. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.
I, I just saw this and it caught my attention. This looks like a medical thing. What's this for? It's supposed to help me stretch my fingers. It's to help you stretch your fingers. Yes, sir. They can't, they are not working. For eight months. Your hand. Yes, sir. For how long? Eight months. Why? It just uh, after I started playing the guitar. You started playing the guitar. And playing guitar. Some, yes, sir. See strips things. He has been playing guitar for as long. His fingers are as fresh as that of a baby. This thing is not because of guitar. This is witchcraft. The devil does not want you to play onto the glory of God. Oh, if you want play, to play for a club now, this hand will be healed. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. That's how he keeps robbing the church of potential people who worship God. Praise the Lord. You believe Jesus will heal you? All this. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you and the power of God will come upon you. You believe that? And then you move your whole hand and begin to fly it. Say after me, Jesus. I believe. I believe. You're the son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. Right now. Right now. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Say it again. Life to my hands. Life to my hands. Look at what is happening to his hands. Cannot move them. Go ahead and begin to move it. Go ahead. Begin to move it. Move it by yourself. Go ahead. Move it. Move it. Start moving your fingers. Look at this. He couldn't move his fingers. Look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do what I'm doing. Hold it like this. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, give Jesus praise. Couldn't use this at all. Couldn't even move. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that these hands become perfected. Can you see how the hands are? I mean, so stunned. You cannot even use it. Keep doing it. Keep shaking it. The power has gone and your hand recovers completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. Yeah.
If we lift our hands, He will lift us up. We're not praising. Oh, you say oh, you God. Of God. Now we say it again. If we call to Him. He will run to us. If we run to Him, He will run to us. He will lift our hands. He will lift, lift us up. Come now, pray. Say, oh, sing for joy to God. Oh, sing for joy. To him, he will answer us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our head, he will lift us up. Come now, praise his name, oh, you say it's our God. One time, if we call to him, he will run to us. All the way, all the way, we go to hell. Hell's on the day by day. All the way, all the way, we go to hell.
you heard what the Lord has done. He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us victory. That's why we sing. Oh, say it. Yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us the victory. That's why we sing. I say yeah. I say yeah. yeah.
thank God though. Said I never, 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 never see a kind of this kind God of. Say bless the be this kind God of. I never see a type of. I never see your type of. This kind God do. To the Lord in the highest. Give the Lord your best dance. Give the Lord your best shout. Give the Lord your best rejoicing. He's worthy. Aha. Uh -huh. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Praise the Lord. Stretch your hands here and begin to just pray in the spirit. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come, O God. We have come before the mighty one. I'd like you to pray. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. says unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come father this request represent the cries of your people this request represent the desires of your people this request 
represent the challenges of your people. This request represents the obstacles that are standing on our path to destiny. This request threatens the advancement of your kingdom in our lives. We pray in the name that is above all names. That every request here be turned into a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how impossible the situation is, oh God. I pray that one by one, one by one, they will come and testify of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already for some. I heard that Victor's wife that we prayed for has been rushed to the hospital. Labor has started for her. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a very prophetic moment. Please, everybody inside and outside, don't let anyone distract you now. Lift your hands as we speak. Hallelujah. I love this part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to be blessed. The power of prophecy and its ability to enter your life and change things. Please, I want you to believe. Please, I want you to believe. No matter how far you are inside and outside, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Everything that represents limitation in your life. Everything that has stood as a limitation against your life and your destiny. I come in the name of the Lord God, the Lord God Almighty, and I declare that in this month of May, may that limitation be lifted up your life. May that limitation be lifted up your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Whatever has stopped the helpers of your destiny from locating where you are, whatever wrong advice, whatever wrong impression has been given to them about you and your family that has made them refuse to come to your aid. Makata katakata, sheketeketepaka, emproto seketelekata, mankratos katabalatapa, rebeketeketeketepeledebos. I call them into your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call the helpers of your destiny. Into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny. Into your life now. I call the helpers of your destiny. Into your life now. hallelujah I pray for you this is the season where wisdom will be required for you to move to the next level listen the Bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established through knowledge are the rooms filled with every treasurable thing wisdom for many of us is the key to the next level and this is not human wisdom it's not wisdom by scientific calculation strategies that are revealed of the spirit strategies that can take you in one day to realms that years have not brought you i pray the wisdom of the spirit may it come upon you now in the name of jesus christ the wisdom for the next dimension the wisdom for the next dimension the wisdom for the next dimension receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah one of the keys to a life of stagnation is confusion lack of direction there's nothing as terrible as a man who is clueless about what to do 
it can be frustrating when you are clueless you are at the middle of an ocean and you don't know what to do but there is the spirit of counsel and mind the, the dimension of the operation of the spirit that comes and speaks peace to you in the name that is above all names I pray for you that every decision you need to make every direction that you need to take for this second half of your life to truly be the year of the rain I release upon you that dimension of the spirit of counsel and might marital direction financial direction academic direction career direction no more confusion no more confusion no more confusion hallelujah I pray for you part of the keys to stepping into the blessings of the Lord is the ability for your eyes to see opportunities Hagar listen Hagar was in a place it was a desert but there was water her eyes could not see it. but when the angel of the Lord appeared unto her suddenly she saw water I pray you have been passing what can bless you and you have not been seeing it in this month of May the anointing that opens the eyes of men to opportunities that can bless you I release it upon you now I release it upon you now where men see obstacles may you see opportunities where men see stumbling blocks may you see stepping stones in the name of Jesus the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear fear has kept many people from moving forward fear of everything fear of death fear of failure fear of taking action fear of moving even when God says move you say I'm afraid start that business I'm afraid take a step to marry I'm afraid do this I'm afraid move on further I'm afraid I pray for you in the name of Jesus every manifestation of fear every manifestation of fear that has kept your ego on the line that will not allow you soil your hand in destiny to make progress that keeps you from being afraid every manifestation of fear that gives you a feeling of being embarrassed to take a step I cause that fear now I cause that fear now I cause that fear now when they got to the Red Sea they were afraid and when Moses went before the Lord he said tell the people to move forward the signs don't go before you they follow you you will have to take a step as a sign that you trust God take the step and die taking it let it be that it was God that killed you there is no man that took a step in the name of the Lord that did not return with a testimony for some may trust in horses others may trust in chariots but for us we trust in the name of the Lord and everything we do in the name of the Lord he said whatsoever you do in word and in deed do it in the name of the Lord I pray for you again fear has stopped millionaire businesses from starting up fear has stopped people from applying in places high places they think they are not qualified fear has stopped many of us fear has stopped you from starting the building project who said you are too young so long as God gives you the signal there are some of us all of us are adults in our house but our parents cannot boast of even a simple bungalow because of fear you have ten thousand go and buy a trip of sand and pour it on the ground and leave it there tell the devil i'm coming look let me tell you you will never break through in life till you take the attitude of if i perish i perish 
I pray the boldness, the audacity, the strength, the audacity to ride through without exhaustion, to ride through without fear. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. I pray for your academics. Shekete palabata. The ten times better anointing. Ma teke 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 ta. Shekete leba. The distinguishing anointing. I release it upon you right now. I release it upon you right now. Listen. Anyone here or any family here that the devil is eyeing for death that is saying you will not see the next month or the end of this year I declare by the mystery of the blood the last card the hallmark of God's victory I judge the manifestation of death over your life I judge the manifestation of death over your family you will travel out and come back safe no armed robber will get you on the road no terrorist will attack you on the road when others say there is a casting down it will never be your testimony for you it will be that there is a lifting up in the name of jesus i pray over your finances the grace to pay the price now and to pay the price early for a glorious financial future i release it every spirit of laziness every spirit of carelessness every spirit of lukewarmness every inertia every reluctance to begin to take appropriate financial decisions especially for the brothers i cause it to his root now in the name of jesus christ i pray for those trusting god for a miracle job I tell you the truth when the hand of the Lord upon you is upon you there will be a door that is open some of you are standing in for yourself and some for your loved ones I pray in the name that is above all names may God give them supernatural jobs jobs that they will be proud of in the name of Jesus and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren it's one thing to be rich is one thing to be blessed but it's another thing to be honored honor is not something that money can buy i pray for you that mantle of honor that makes you distinguished and rewarded everywhere you go i release it upon you right now your superiors will honor you your contemporaries will honor you your subordinates will honor you even your enemies will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for everything that has died or is dying here I don't care what it is projects that have died ideas that have died dreams that have died I speak to you in the name of Jesus come back to life come back to life visions that have died assignments that have died passions that have died strengths that have died i call it back to life in the name of jesus every voice you have heard that has killed your dreams every voice you have heard that has killed your potentials the voice of your past the voice of your failure the voice of mediocres the voice of limitation i silence those voices from your life I silence those voices from your life. I pray for every ministry represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every business represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every job represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every family represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. I pray for every destiny represented here. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. Greater grace and greater glory. 
the bible says thou anointest my head with oil and it makes my cup to run over there is an anointing that comes upon your head that translates into increase in your life thou anointed my head with oil and that oil makes my cup my source of supply to run over i pray for you the anointing that will give you wisdom the anointing that will give you creativity the anointing that will give you ideas insight concepts strategies for wealth i release it upon your life in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you in the name that is above all names every habit every issue every challenge every weight on your life that is eating up your Christian integrity that is eating up your work with God you love God but there are weights in your life that keep drawing you back to the way of sin I pray for you the hand of the Lord lifts you out of that nonsense the grace of God picks you out of that limitation grace to say no to every appearance of evil grace to say no to everything that is ungodly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray a special prayer for our brothers I curse in your life the spirit of irresponsibility one more time I curse from your life and your vicinity every spirit that refuses you from rising as a man that you are that entitlement mentality that makes you think someone else is responsible for your success I curse that mindset in the name of Jesus from today I release upon you grace grace to rise and take up the challenge of manhood in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you you will not need to defend yourself the Lord God Almighty will be your defense the Lord will anoint you in such a way that even your enemies will walk towards your progress in the name of Jesus I prophesy restoration for everything you have lost restoration 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus and I pray for you a new dimension in the spirit a new level of prayer grace a new level of word grace a new dimension of encounters with the spirit of God where you are becoming lukewarm where you are losing the initial standard of your Christian experience where you are already bending bending against the things that would make you powerful I pray for a restoration for you where you have lost the voice of the spirit I command that you be to hear his voice again where you have lost zeal for the house of God I command a restoration for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I pray for you all through the remaining part of May into June let it be a month of testimonies for you beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus Christ all those who have been looking for you to bless you may this be the season they find you all those who have received instructions from God to hold your hands and lift you up with no strings attached but have not been able to find you I pray listen listen Samuel had already been ordained I mean Saul ordained to be a king but he needed to find Samuel and they kept searching and he could not find Samuel until by the wisdom of God they were able to find him you can be one anointing away from the next level of your life you can be one prophetic impartation away you can be one destiny helper away I pray again for you whoever has been looking for you like the lost ass of Samson of, of Saul whoever has been looking for you to bless you and has not found you may this be the season they find you in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I pray for you nothing will rob your joy this month this will be the month of June will be for you a month of joy and laughter in the name of Jesus Christ 
before miracle service next month most of all your prayer requests would have been turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting, thank you for lifting. My Hallelujah. Now, keep standing, everybody. You're here, and you need to return back to Jesus Christ. Keep standing, everyone. You've heard the word of the Lord, and you know that you need to make it right with Jesus. Maybe this is the first time you are running to Jesus genuinely to commit your life to him. Or you've once given your life to Jesus, and you've seen that you are derailing, and you need to make it right tonight. We will not end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life or rededicate your life. Wherever you are, make your way to the front right now. We have one minute for this. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't wait for anybody to be the first to come. Make your way. God bless you. God bless you. They are coming inside and outside. Celebrate them, Koinonia. God bless you as you come. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed. He will give you a new beginning. And he will supply grace. That you will go higher and higher. Higher and higher. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Run to Jesus. Keep coming. In the name of the Lord Jesus, don't sit back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming to make a decision for Jesus. Just raise your right hand and repeat that. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye